So we're going to take a quick video of the disassembly of the GHK AK's fire control group. Uh, this will involve removing the sears as well as the hammer and punching out three pins. It's a pretty simple process. We're going to take a look here. Uh, this rifle that we'll be working on is already in a vise, but we'll be removing these three pins here. So, they will be punched out the left side there. They are held in place by three C-clips, and so let's go ahead and get started. You do not need to remove your selector to do this process, but I would recommend putting it in semi, uh, so as low down as possible. Uh, as it really helps let stuff move. Tools for this, I recommend a dental pick or you can use a small screwdriver, uh, a set of needle nose pliers, and depending, a small ball peen hammer or rubber mallet, and at times a punch kit can be very handy for pushing through. I want to caution with using those. This process does not require much force. If you are using a lot of force for this, you are doing it wrong. So, we'll begin by removing our C-clips. We've got a C-clip along the left side of the receiver for the pin that holds our trigger mechanism in place, for the pin that our hammer rides on, and that holds our uh, firing pin in place, and then for this last pin that holds the uh, auto lever and the cutoff lever in place. So we'll go ahead and begin by removing these. I like to use a dental pick. These can be a little difficult to get a hold of, and once you get them out, you can just pop it out there, so we can see our first one popped out there. And that one just fell down into our grip. That's fun. And at this point, we can remove pressure off of the hammer by pulling this lever forward and pulling the trigger and just riding that hammer up. Now we can remove that second one, and then our third one is going to be right up here, and we can go ahead and remove it. There we go. Those three can be a little difficult to remove if they are being too stubborn. Just go ahead and try to reposition. Now, my first circlip fell down into our grip, so we are going to remove our grip assembly as well. And I guess touch on that in case you decide to replace your grip. grip is removed and we can take a look at that C-clip. There are two types of C-clips in these rifles. Uh, the hammer pin and this frontmost pin are the same. They are this rounded bottom type. The trigger mechanism uses this flat bottom type. Flat -bottomed type. So, when you're reassembling, make sure to put this one on this for this back pin. We can set those aside though, and at this point, we can go ahead and remove our pins. So I'm gonna take a punch, and I'm going to start with that rearmost. We will go ahead and remove pressure off of our trigger, and we can see that I was able to push that out quite easily. 
And once we get it started on one side, sometimes it can pop up like this. Try to punch all the way through and remove that pin. And we can go ahead and remove that. Not to worry about our springs jumping all over. We will get it sorted. We can take out our second pin and then we can go ahead and press out our frontmost. The frontmost pin can be quite stubborn to get out. It has many little notches in it and those each hold the different mechanisms in place there in the front and they can get a little caught on there. So just wiggle it a little bit to remove. One thing that I often see individuals run into, we have three pins here. This smooth pin goes to your trigger mechanism. This pin with a light shim here on the end goes for your middle for your hammer. And this one with all of the bump outs goes furthest to the front. That shim makes sure that your hammer is centered and doesn't have room to wiggle. At this point, we can go ahead and remove all of the internals. And we have some falling out the bottom. If you do have that, make sure to uh, make a note. We've got our couple different springs here. Uh, these all go for the frontmost pin. Let's set those aside. Our trigger is three part. So we can remove that as well as the springs that go with it. So here are our three parts and our springs for the trigger. So that's the furthest rear pin. And then the items that ride on that center pin are the hammer, its spring, and the uh, firing pin. For reassembly, check out the reassembly video. Thanks for watching.